do you get a point by getting the L? Hold on, it says it, it says, really, yeah. it says your team will get points by moving your librarian and the chain farther around the track than other team. To do this, you have to shoot. Hello everybody, welcome to another vlog. I'm in the car with my mom. Hi. Hey. We're actually getting ready to head into Trader Joe's, but I realized I never started this vlog. Um, it is Monday morning. Well, yeah, it's still it's still morning. It's like 11 20. And we're gonna head into Trader Joe's, do a little grocery shopping. I have been to Trader Joe's once since I've been here. I didn't film it, but thought we would do like a little Trader Joe's haul. But we had a great weekend, lots of family time, lots of friend time. We actually ended up going with our nieces and Drew's sister and mom. We went to this like indoor slide place. It's like kind of far away, but we saw it on TikTok and we decided to bring the girls and we had so much fun, but we were so sore afterwards. It was honestly such a blast. And then we ended up having a game night with our friends last night. That was really, really fun. And just played a few board games. I'm I'm always confused my, our friends always make fun of me because if there's ever a game that has more than like two or three rules I'm like out like I can't play it um, and this last one that we played was really long but it actually ended up being really fun so we enjoyed that and now here we are so I edited a vlog this morning and it went up and I answered some emails and I did some stuff and now I'm here with my mom we're gonna head into Trader Joe's and see what we end up finding so let's do it i don't know how much like new stuff is really happening at the moment because we're kind of in a weird sort of like nearing the end of summer type of thing so we'll see what we end up getting i don't know drew said get some good stuff so that's what we're gonna try to do All right, it is time, it is time for the first Trader Joe's haul of this season of life. Yeah, there wasn't that much stuff. I don't, I shouldn't need to disclaim this, but sometimes if I don't say that we've already grocery shopped for like our meats, veggies, etc., cetera, um, this is literally just for fun. So this is gonna be a haul of stuff that we just got because we wanted to. My mom ended up taking some of this stuff she was left. And now, oh wait, is she gone? Her cherries! I just ran. So my mom was still in the driveway and she forgot her cherries. So there you have it. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, I got my favorite of all time. This is the sweet potato gnocchi. It is so delicious. It's in like a butter sage sauce. We got two of the kimbap. These are just good to have as like a little snack when you're in a pinch. <laughs> I'm literally out of breath, I just ran. And it's not bad, I can't vouch for how authentic it is, but it's like pretty decent. You just stick it in the microwave and you're good to go. Next, I got through some more of his tangerine cream bars. I know you're excited about that. These are um, like a creamsicle. They have like a vanilla ice cream in the middle and they're like a tangerine popsicle on the outside and it's Delish. We got some more mashed potatoes because obviously. Did we use the other one? Uh, no, but they're just nice to have. Got some more rice, again, just to have. We have some from Costco that's really good too, but just good to, you know, when you're in a pinch. Okay, we're all about ease and simplicity over here. I got you. I can use. Your apple juice, don't you worry. I got another almond milk because apparently silk almond milk is giving people hysteria. Uh, I don't know if it's happening currently. I don't want to spread misinformation. I don't know if it's currently happening in the US, but it is definitely being recalled in Canada and we currently have it. So I just don't want to risk it. So I got a different one. I got some limeade. It just looked really good and refreshing and tasty. So we got some of that. I can't remember if we've tried these or not, but these are s'mores bars. They do not look familiar. Yeah, but they're fudgy brownie on a honey graham crust with marshmallow cream topping. Love it. Sounds great. Put these ice packs away too. Okay, next for the other frozen bag. There's not that much stuff in here. I got these for you to try. It says garlicky pasta. Italian pasta in a creamy umami garlic sauce. Okay. That sounds like something you would like. I got you two more of your carbonaras. They're not very carbonara, but it, it, it's, it's good. It's good, yeah. And then I got two perfect bars for myself and they have a strawberry overnight oats flavor now, so I wanted to try that. I'm a sucker for strawberry anything. That's literally all that's in this bag. There's not that much stuff. 
And then last but not least, in our just like normal bag, I think this is it, right? Yeah, well we got some flowers, which are so pretty. We got one of the little petite bouquets. I love these, so cute. And then I got these purple, it just says stock bunch. I actually don't know what these are called, but these are like a beautiful purple bouquet. So we'll put those together. And then for the dry goods or produce, we got some neck greens. My mom took a couple of these. She got her Rainier cherries. I got, she tried one of these when we got home. But these milk chocolate covered honeycomb are unreal, like absolutely unbelievable. I love them. Got some corn tortillas, because we got some meat in the fridge that we need to use for tacos. So we got that, got some turkey jerky. This is the teriyaki flavor. They have the like, their version of Otter Pops. Ooh, cherry limeade. Yeah, so there's a cherry limeade, berry, and orange flavor. So we try those. I got a bunch of my fruit snacks, or fruit leathers, whatever you call them. We have apple raspberry, apple wildberry, apple blueberry, and apple strawberry. I love these. They're delicious. Got some Parmesan cheese, because we were out, like the shaky kind. You gotta have both kinds for both, you know what I mean? I got this mango sticky rice crisps, all the flavors of the classic Thai dessert in a bite-sized crispy snack. I think this is new. If it isn't, then I haven't seen it before. So we got that. I got somebody, oh, I some ate. more of these because I got them for myself and someone ate them all. They're passion fruit rounds. They're like little fruit snacks. They do have the passion fruit seeds in them. So just keep that in mind, but they are delicious. And then they had dark chocolate covered pistachios, which look divine. I am such a pistachio girly. And then finally, gotta go smush. But I got Drew these strawberry mm. and rhubarb hand pies. Mm -hmm. I knew you'd be excited. I and I probably it. will have one of those. And that is my first Trader Joe's haul of the season. So we're gonna put this stuff away and we're gonna maybe try a little TikTok recipe that we've been seeing going around lately. But first, we gotta clean up and like arrange the flowers and all that. But successful trip. Excuse the lighting in here. I had to turn on the big lights, which I absolutely hate, but like, it's just the, I don't know. It was really dark in here. So, okay. Got my little, you can't even see it. There we go. Got my vases and we're gonna arrange our little flowers to go in here. I'm gonna do a little mini bouquet in this mini one. This is actually, I thrifted this. I didn't know, but people told me this is actually from Trader Joe's, which is funny. And then this one is from Ikea. So we'll see what we can arrange. Are they good? Okay. Sure. I was expecting them to be way sweeter, but they're not very sweet, which is kind of nice. No. <laughs> not for me. There's my official review. Cute! Ugh. Why is this the cutest thing ever? This is so freaking precious. I love that one. On to the next. I love it! It's so cute! Obsessed. I love fresh flowers. It is like one of the things in life that makes me the happiest. I never used to care about flowers until, really until I started dating Drew. Like he used to get me flowers a lot and like always had flowers and now I'm obsessed. I love it. All right, next on the agenda, since we're already in the kitchen and we're already doing the thing and it's already like almost one o'clock, it's almost lunchtime. So we've both seen this thing on TikTok where people are making what they call a fluffy Coke or a fluffy Dr. Pepper or whatever. It, this has probably been around for a long time, but I've just seen it circulating on TikTok recently. And you put a lining of fluffer, what is it called? Fluff, marshmallow fluff? fluff? Marshmallow fluff, you put it in a cup and then some people stick it in the freezer, some people don't. You put ice and Coke in it and then you drink it and apparently it's delicious, which it sounds amazing. So we're gonna try it out. You wanna bite? Oh, sure. We just got the marshmallow fluff, so Drew made a fluffer nutter for old time's sake. Yeah. Delicious. So you need some marshmallow cream. If you only knew what I went through to get this marshmallow cream, I couldn't find it. And so I have, I looked in like three different sections. I looked near the ice cream in the baking and where the spreads are. And I couldn't find it anywhere. I had been in the store, my mom was waiting for me in the car. I'd already been in the store like seven minutes looking for this and I was like, oh God. I was like, let me just like ask somebody. So I was like, hey, do you happen to know where the marshmallow fluff is? And she was like, oh, 
like let me go find it for you and then she starts up rounding up other people she's paging people like half of the store is like looking for this stuff i was like oh no and so the manager is like walking with me and she's like yeah it should be over here by the marshmallows but it's not so like let me double check anyways we ended up finding it it wasn't that aisle but it was in like a different spot and i was just standing there like so embarrassed and then i was walking to the checkout and i saw another guy he goes oh good you found it and i was just like they knew you. I was very embarrassed. Okay. <laughs> so, we're gonna take some marshmallow fluff in the back of a spoon and smear it all in this cup. This is heavenly. I wanna get like a decent layer of it. I'll put some on the bottom too, because why not? Okay, there we go. I'll do the other one as well. I'd be really curious to know where this originated. Like something is telling me in the South, but I don't ever remember seeing this or seeing my friends do this or anything like that. So I'd be very curious to know where this originated. So I guess I'm gonna stick this. What do I do with this? Eat it? I've never eaten this before by itself. It's heavenly. All right, so we'll stick these in the freezer for like a few minutes, it probably won't take long. All right, it's been a few minutes. Drew's making his pasta in the background, one of the Trader Joe's ones. I'm having the remainder of these bagel chips with a dip that I made out of bitchin' sauce and a can of chicken. Don't judge me, okay? It's kind of good, but it's kind of gross, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna make, we're gonna make our fluffies. Do you want a dark pepper? Darker pepper. So, the next step is not really frozen, but like it's fine. Fill these up with ice, and we're gonna fill these up like to all the brim. way to the brim. Take that, Europe. <laughs> Europeans, look away, okay? Look away. Oh, just another day where I could not be happier with the purchase of this ice machine. It's just the gift that keeps on giving. The gift is ice. Okay. Got our cups of ice. This is the proper ice ratio. To be fair, my Diet Coke that I'm using is like fresh out of the pantry. It's like kind of warm, so it's another reason. Oh my God, I'm so excited, okay. Now, we're gonna take our sodies. <laughs> Which one has more? I'm gonna give you the one that has more. We're gonna pour them on in here. Ah, wow. She's beautiful. Start there. Do the Dr. Pepper. Oh, 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 oh. We're good. I think if you want to do the crackle thing, you have to like wait a little bit longer, but honestly, we got really impatient. You just take your straw, you swirl her around. Is any marshmallow getting on it? Like, are, are we gonna yeah, taste it? Yeah, I can see it? some like, it's almost like dissolving. Okay, so here is a close up of what it looks like. Now, we're gonna taste it. I just had an off-camera moment. I wish I was rolling, but it's actually turning it kind of creamy. Like it almost looks like like an ice latte or something. Yeah, that's, that's I'm so excited. Sorry, I just cut you off. But... <gasps> okay, now I'm excited. Cheers. My dry bone's falling. It kind of tastes the same. Mm. It's like slightly more creamy. I should use Coke because I feel like Dr. Pepper has so many different like little flavors in it. I don't really taste much. Maybe a little bit. Mine kind of tastes like a Dr. Pepper. Am I drinking the wrong one? No. I mean, fun, I guess. <laughs> the experience, A plus. Experience, 10 out of 10. Flavor, yeah. it's giving nothing. Am I doing it wrong? Please let me know. Maybe if you have a more refined palate, like it's definitely in there. You can see it, like it's mixing in there, but I can't really taste it. It's okay, I guess. Okay, time for lunch, goodbye. All right, we just finished lunch and I finished my fluffy Diet Coke. And I will definitely say that I noticed a flavor difference when I was towards the end of it. It got really milky, like it literally looked like an iced coffee by the end of it. Um, and it just tasted like a vanilla Coke to me. So if you like that and you want to recreate it, it might be worth trying. Um, Drew said he's gonna try it in a coffee, like he's gonna brew his espresso into the marshmallow fluff. So maybe we'll try that in a later vlog because that sounds amazing. I always turn off the camera. 
Oh. Right when you do your funny, he was like, I invented it. Uh, I can never catch him. Good morning, it is the next day. It's like nine something in the morning. And there's a very, you know, I wanted to give you an update because in the last vlog, I told you that I would show you the rest of the house and that I would update you. No, don't be scared. I wanted to update you on the backyard because it's been landscaped, but then we've had monsoon since, so it looks terrible again, but that's fine. I wanted to show you the upstairs. And then I also wanted to give you an update on the alien cactus, AKA the century plant. If you weren't here, two years ago and then the two years before that basically i would say like shortly before we moved out of this house we had a century plant in the backyard and it started blooming towards the end and it started as this one kind of like long stalk looked like a piece of asparagus sort of coming out of the top of the plant and then it grew to like i would say 20 feet maybe more than that it grew so tall and it was so freaky looking it looked like an alien and unfortunately i learned that century plants bloom like that right before they die which is so sad it's like their little swan song so uh, a lot of you informed me that that was the case and that it was going to die and i'm so sad to report that it is gone it is not there we looked for it when we got here and it is no longer there however I wanted to go out there and show you in this vlog, but new developments have happened since. And there is a bunny or like a desert cottontail rabbit that is in our backyard creating a burrow. I don't know if it's like to bury her babies in or if it's just because she lives here now, but I am so excited and I don't want to go out there and scare her away because I want her to live here. Like Drew is a bunny guy. Like, you know how people like have obsessions with like cats or turtles, like, he is a rabbit guy, he loves bunnies. So this is very important. He has been sitting here for the last two hours watching this bunny. <laughs> <laughs> like nonstop, literally I've come and checked on him, still watching the bunny. So I'm gonna show you like a little clip that I got just a second ago of her running into her little hidey hole. Taking a break, working hard. And then I'll also show you where the century plant once was that's not anymore. I'm sorry, for uh, I got a lot of questions about an update. More than I even imagined. I was like, oh my God, so many people remembered that. I thought it was such an insignificant detail. But yeah, it is sadly gone. She, she has crossed over the rainbow bridge. Okay, I'm gonna try to show you without scaring her away. Okay, so right here, was where the century plant once was. It grew literally like up to there. And it probably grew even longer than that or taller than that when we moved out, but we had to leave. And then I don't know if you can see, but that's your buddy. She's right, where's my finger? She's gonna run out. She's right here, oh, she's running. Hey girl. She's gathering a bunch of grass and bringing it back to her little hidey hole. So I don't know if she's gonna, she's if she's pregnant. Yeah, I'm not, I think so. They, I looked it up and they said they oh. only burrow in nest when oh they're God. pregnant. Yes, so we're gonna have babies soon. I do have a bit of a traumatic past with baby bunnies. My dad's house in Tennessee, one day Layla was like really just going after this piece of grass and I was like, what is going on? And I looked and there were baby bunnies in a hole in the ground. And so a couple of them got eaten sadly and the mom, I think, abandoned them. Um, and so it was just this whole thing. And long story short, they died. It was really tragic. Um, really, really, really sad. It was tragic. I don't want to get into it. I like literally sobbed. Um, you can ask my dad. It was, I was hysterical. It was not okay. Anyway, so I'm hoping that this goes a lot better. We will be on, you know, bunny watch. We will obviously not interfere. If anyone has any tips, please let us know. But this is a new chapter. You know, we don't have a century plant anymore. But we have Bunny Watch, so that's exciting. I wonder how long it's gonna be till she has babies. I need to look up like the gestational period. So if anyone works in like conservation, if anyone specifically has like Sonoran Desert experience or has any tips, can we give, can we put out like wild rabbit food? Can we, can, or do we just leave it? Do we just not interfere? Obviously we're not gonna do anything until we found out. Oh my God, what is she doing with her little hand? Digging She's one. digging. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Okay, sorry. I have to go because basically uh, this morning I am going off, I'm doing a main channel thing. I just filmed and did a bunch of short form content and stuff and now I'm heading off to 
go to a tailor appointment. Um, I'm getting some clothes tailored for the first time. So we gotta get going with that. I haven't had coffee, I haven't had breakfast. I need to get a move on, but that's the update. There is a bunny and I am so excited. All right, it's much later. It's like 2 p.m. now. I had a great time at the tailor. That video is gonna be really fun, and I'm gonna get those pieces back in a week, which is amazing. The lady was really sweet. I've been doing a bunch of filming of like short form stuff today, and long form stuff, and all sorts of filming, and now I am rewarding myself with a 2 p.m. bath. Is that weird? It's cold in my house. It's hot outside, but it's cold in my house, so I feel like having a bath, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's my first bath back in this house. If you guys remember, I have like filmed vlogs in here before. It's almost full, I need to keep an eye on it. I have like, I, I remember the first time I ever listened to Folklore and Evermore, I was sat in this bath that used to be like one of my routines when Taylor would release a new album. I would run a bubble bath and just like sit and listen to it in the bath. So I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna relax. I'm gonna try to finish my book. I have been trying to finish The Golden Couple, which I mentioned in the last vlog. I am 82% of the way done with the book and it's like finally starting to get good. Okay, so now we're gonna pick up. Oh, I, I only have two bath bombs. I thought I had more than that. So we have a little green one. What is this one? Oh, it's like a little girly, little girly pop. That smells really good. Oh, what does that smell like? That smells so familiar. Isn't it crazy how nostalgic smells can be? And then we have, what is this one? Oh, this is one of my faves. Is this Sex Bomb? Yes, oh my God, this one's so good. I think I have to go Sex Bomb. It's just like the lightest, most like florally, but like sweet, but like clean scent. It's a classic. So we're gonna go with that one. And we're just gonna relax and read up on the book. Um, Bunny update, we're pretty sure that the bunny gave birth either this morning or yesterday because we first saw the burrow that she made yesterday and then we watched her this morning, you know, I don't know, it was like nine something and Drew had been watching her since like seven something, getting materials, filling it up and then like reburying it and now it's completely closed and she left, which I know is common for bunnies. They go to avoid predators and stuff and they leave their babies buried and then they come back and like nurse them and stuff. Um, so we're pretty sure the babies are already in there because she, she closed the hole, which is crazy. So we're gonna keep an eye on it obviously while keeping our distance because it's important, you know, but um, yeah, if she doesn't come back or something like that, then maybe we'll we'll figure it out. But Drew has named her Jelly Bean. He is obsessed with her. And I'm so excited to see what happens. So that's that's the exciting stuff that's happening on the home front here these days. You know, life is a little more simple, a little more wholesome. We love it. So okay, I'm going to get my bath bomb going, get my whole little setup, and then we are gonna relax. Okay, here I go. Ready? Oh yeah absolutely beautiful and if you can hear my massive fan <laughs> it is because i overheat quite easily in the bathtub so we need that oh by the way i guess i'll show you a tour of the upstairs to close out this vlog because i realized i never showed the upstairs i only showed the downstairs and then i showed a little bit of the backyard this morning so i guess this is real life because um things are not finished and or clean at the moment like things are kind of scattered but that's okay so all right we have our bed here here's our bedroom this is pretty much exactly how we had it set up last time, same rug and everything. Um, we have these tapestry things from Urban Outfitters. You can actually see the spots on the wall where our sconces used to be. We might get more and put those there, who knows. We donated them before we left or gave them to friends, I think, I can't remember. Um, we have our two very long plants here. We've had these for years and years. We need to propagate some of this stuff. Um, ignore those pillows. We found this little table at an estate sale here for like $8. And then we have one of our other plants sitting on there. It's kind of lonely at the moment, but we'll figure it out. We have these vintage brass frames from Drew's mom, actually. Um, we just have some random photos. This is a picture of my dad playing guitar. There's my dad. And then we have, I'm just filling up random stuff for now. These were like old art prints that we had that we're just kind of filling this with until we get like actual photos. These two photos, this is from here. Where is it? Yeah, it's a prickly pear out here. And then this is um, at my family's little cottage in Minnesota. Both of these photos were by my great aunt. So that's cute. We have some Polaroids on the wall. Oh, and then you go into the bathroom. <laughs> Did not miss these stripy floors, but I mean, I'm grateful to have this beautiful house. We have the bathtub, the shower, 
this closet. We're back to the closet of my dreams. You guys, this closet's amazing. These drawers have since broken <laughs> since we moved out, so we gotta figure that out, but got most of my clothes and my shoes here. I did do like a outfits um, TikTok reel today, so it's kind of messy. But yeah, there we have it. Got some shoe storage, got some of this. We got Drew's stuff over here, and then we have a makeshift laundry situation. We might need to get something bigger, who knows? Um, then we have our guest bathroom which is in here. Not much is that different. I mean, we hung up a tapestry that we already had. This was the art that was in our old bathroom at our old place. Got these cute little checkered towels. I just got those on Amazon. We got some little matching green rugs. I got my candle that actually LTK sent me. This is the, oh, so good. I need to buy this scent. This is the Santal 26. I love it. We have Drew's office, which is again, another work in progress. If you guys remember, this used to be like a dark academia guest room. We sort of like really zhuzhed it up. Um, but right now it's just office and painting. Office and art, if you will. Then we have, last but not least, oh, this light. I just closed the blinds and I'm not opening them again. And then we have my office. It's very small in here. It looks a lot bigger. Every time someone comes in person, they're like, whoa, it's tiny in here. I'm like, I know. But I couldn't be more grateful for it. Like, look how beautiful. I have just basically reused all of the old stuff that we had in my old office. And this is my new filming background. So I think, has anyone seen it yet? I guess just if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, then you will have seen this background in some of my videos. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's the upstairs, that's the completed pretty much house tour. I am going to go relax and sit in the bathtub. I'm sorry the end of this vlog is like, ah, I'm all over the place, but I'm just moving and grooving, you know? Oh my God, it smells so good in here. Yeah, I'm about to dive in that head first. So thank you so much for watching this vlog and I will see you very soon in the next one.